So today I'm popping in here with another Soul Line success video on location from my pool because I broke my backdrop. So I had to order a new backdrop. I sort of love my little blue backdrop, but... So today I'm popping in here with another Soul Line success video on location from my pool because I broke my backdrop. So I had to order a new backdrop. I sort of love my little blue backdrop, but it's gonna be on location, I guess, until I get that back, which is totally fine. So today I wanted to just pop in here really quick with something that was coming through for all you spiritual entrepreneurs out there that are looking for what possibly could be the missing piece to why your business feels like a struggle. And I just wanted to say that I was having lunch the other day with one of my girlfriends and we were talking about this and um, she asked, well, what was it for you that switched? What was it for you that clicked? Because this is my girlfriend. We've been friends for I think a little over 10 years now and we used to go to lunches all the time and talk about our business and have accountability lunches and have these big dreams and these visions and these plans and we've been doing that over the course of our journey right and then all of a sudden something just clicked something just clicked and she asked me she's like well what was that that really just clicked for you like what was that she's like did you did you change something? Like, what did you do differently? And she said, did you, did you have to start like acting differently or doing something different? I'm like, that's it. Like, that's all I did. But that's all I did. That's the only thing that I did was I stopped acting in old Sarah's shoes, the one that always had it as a dream, as an, as an idea, as a hope, as a wish, as a vision, right? I mean, it's important to hold your vision because your vision is what pulls you through, to quote Michael Beckworth, right? And that's key. But I could st still be in that place if it wasn't for this one thing. And this one thing is everything this thing that I did wasn't an action necessarily, actually. It was a being. I became the person that has the successful spiritual business online. I became the person that travels freely. I became the person that quits her day job, which was real estate for me, right? I became her. And so there is action involved. It's not passive when you're co-creating with the universe. It's not just, well, if it's meant to be, it's gonna fall in my lap, right? And by the way, PS, if you like this video and you want a manifesting masterclass that has helped other spiritual entrepreneurs manifest clients within 24 hours, let me know and I can send you the URL for that. Or you can go to my website at sarah-rose.net and click on free masterclasses in the menu bar and you'll find a masterclass called 10X Your Manifesting. It's a seven pillar manifesting formula that I share with you. So this isn't a passive, a passive uh, formula. There is action required, but the action required isn't what you think. The action that was required of me, the only thing that changed was taking action as the person that does the things that I want to do or has the things that I want to, to have, you know, the freedom or the flexibility. Like how does that person walk, talk, think, dress, act, eat? What does she do? How does she respond? What actions does she take? 
And so, as you can see, it's not a passive process, but it wasn't necessarily a doing in and of itself. It wasn't an action that was taken. Although there were core defining, this is going to sound paradoxical. Uh, this is going to sound like a paradox, but there were specific actions that I can remember that shifted everything, but the actions were not figuring out the day-to-day -day things in my business that I thought were going to grow it, right? The actions were the ones that put me in the shoes of the future self. You have to become her. You have to be her now. You have to be her now. You have to do the thing that the woman you're stepping into would be doing. You have to do those things. And those are the actions you need to take, the ones that she would be doing. And that's all you have to do. Everything else, when you start to step into that, reveals itself to you and you'll know exactly which ones to take action on because the person that you're stepping into takes action on the things that are intuitively guided first off, right? And that's all that I switched. That's all that I did. Building a six-figure spiritual business, which is turning into a multiple six-figure business, which I'm going to throw it out there because I know this is going to happen. It's going, it, it's in the works right now. I can feel it. It's going to be a seven figure business within the next year or two or less. It's always this or something better, but I'm taking the actions now in the moment that she would be taking. That's the only thing that changed. When you start doing that, when you start doing that, you literally start to shift. Oops. I don't have my tripod out here. You literally have to, sh you're going to start to shift timelines and new opportunities are going to pop up for you that normally wouldn't because you're operating on trust, knowing, faith. You're getting out of your comfort zone because these, these decisions are going to challenge your comfort zone. They're going to get you into unfamiliar territory, which your mind and your ego are going to be hell bent on keeping you stuck in your familiar territory. So the actions are not necessarily, oh, I need to go create this, or I need to go create that, or I need a funnel, or I need this, or I need to do ads, or I need to do that. That's not what changed. And in fact, if you try to go that route, what you're going to do is you're going to be like I was back in the day, spinning your wheels, watching all the master classes, taking all the notes, trying to reverse engineer everybody else's process because it's working for somebody else. So it's got to work for me. So you reverse some engineer something that you see happening online for somebody else because they appear to be successful based on what they're doing which they likely are that's because it's aligned with them and so then what happens is you get in this cycle of frustration and confusion because you're like fuck why isn't it working for me it's working for her well the reason is is because you're trying to figure it out from a place of figuring it out instead of a place of just taking the next actions that you would be guided to take if you were already the person that you're becoming this is an energy. This is an energetic up leveling. This is a frequency shift. And this is the game changer, guys. This is the game changer. And all the rest of the actions that you need to take will be revealed to you from that point. And there will be actions to take. It's not a passive process by any means. I'm always creating. I'm always taking action in my business. There's a delicate balance between the yin and the yang energy, right? The masculine energy taking action, the feminine energy receiving. And there's a beautiful cycle that replenishes itself on repeat. But that's the quickest action you're going to take. Call it in. Ask what's the next step for me to up level. What's the next step? I'm ready. Show me the next step. I'm committed to my calling. I'm committed to my mission. I'm committed to being of service. I'm here. I'm ready. I'm willing to show up. I'm ready to do the thing. I'm ready to say the thing. I'm ready to be. What is my next step? What is my next step? Show me. Show me my next step. And it will appear to you. And then you take action on that as if you are already 
the six figure or the seven figure or the empowered or whatever woman that you're envisioning yourself being that you're seeking, right? It's time to stop seeking and start being. So call in those actions, let them appear to you and then follow through with taking the action as if you were already that woman that you inspire to be. And it's a never ending journey. You're always gonna be expanding. There's always gonna be a next level. And that doesn't mean that you're not satisfied with where you're at. That would be chasing the carrot and be stuck in this vicious cycle. It's about enjoying the process of becoming knowing that there's no destination per se, there's just expansion and you get to enjoy the expansion over and over and over and over and over again. As the universe just continues to roll out on the red carpet, on a silver platter, everything that you need that supports you on your mission work. And I just looked at the clock and it was 1044. So it's an amplified, magnified 144 for everybody who gets that. So. Just wanted to pop in here today with this. I hope this finds you well, and I will tune in with you on another episode very, very soon. If this does resonate with you, check out the Soul Align Success Masterclass below this video, wherever you happen to be watching it. And um, if that resonates with you, then you're gonna get a special invite to hop on a 60 minute strategy session with me where I help you map out your own soul aligned six figure business blueprint that will completely catapult you into your mission work and also give you the freedom based lifestyle that you're looking for on the back end as well. So you're completely supported in your mission. And yeah, any questions or comments below this video are welcome if this resonated with you and I will talk to you soon. Namaste.